Dave here, Sans Everything. We are back from BMX Racing. We are not at Easy Fab. We're right back in my garage. And I've got some parts behind me. And we're going to keep plugging away to get my 1951 GMC to the road after working on it for way, way, way too long. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for being here. And we're going to keep plugging away on this truck. And I've got some parts that have arrived to help get this thing on the road. So box number one, pretty self-explanatory. This is exactly what it says it is. The premium remanufactured steering gear. This is uh, my friends at Izzy Fab got this for me. Hence all of the stickers. This is actually a ZQ8 box, which means it will have less turns lock to lock than the current box that's in the truck. It is a remanufactured unit. You can see some guarantees and stuff there. Whatever, it should do the job that I need it to do, no problem. I also bought a giant socket to get the pitman arm off and a pitman arm puller so that'll be self-explanatory we're definitely going to be tackling that in this video let's close up this box and see what is in this rock auto box all right got my knife out we're going to open this rock auto box and see what i have ordered holy packaging okay get rid of all this don't need this right now and first things first, what? We only have my Mazda parts? There's no other parts in here. What is going on? Anyway, I do need a lower control arm for my Mazda Speed 3, so that is here. But it looks like none of the other parts have arrived, which sucks. Maybe tomorrow. Anyway, there's still some stuff we can do to the truck. So uh, we'll see what Rock Auto delivers tomorrow. Um, but... Let's get this thing into the air, and then when I come back next cut, truck will be in the air. I'll be at least pulling this thing out, and hopefully some of the other stuff that I was expecting to arrive will have arrived. All right, so while we wait for some of that stuff to come from Rock Auto, we might as well get moving forward on what we do have, which is the steering box. And the first step is going to be removing the other steering box from the truck. So again, this is my steering box, the new one as it came from Izzy Fab. This is actually a ZQ8 box, so it's got a little bit less turns, lock to lock, and we're gonna see about getting this thing into the truck. I do now have the truck lifted so I can crawl under there and get to work. So that's where we're gonna start. I'm gonna try and mount the camera somewhere where you can see me wrestle this thing out. It's probably gonna be a time lapse. I'm probably not gonna talk while I do this one because it is um, really a simple re and re, simple. We'll see, if I do hit a snag, I'll definitely stop the camera and we can talk through that. But otherwise, uh, I'm just going to thrash and get this thing out. All right, we've got the steering box out. And I don't know how much time lapse I'm going to have because it's actually way more annoying than I thought it was. You basically have to take the entire steering apart. But while I did have the steering apart, I noticed I have some binding from one of my driver's side ball joints. So I'm gonna take a look at that as well, see what's going on there. But for now, let's uh, get a few things transferred over to the steering box before we put it back in. The most obvious things that need to be transferred are this pitman arm, which is gonna be fun, and these two fittings. So I'm going to put the steering boxes the same way. Actually, they are the same way now. So I'm gonna just transfer over the two fittings that I need and then work on the pitman arm. I got a pitman arm puller for that, so that should be fun. Never used one of those before. But anyway, let's get after it. without a bunch of messing around we've got this together so the pitman arm is on now and the two fittings are on i am going to slide this into the truck now and then i gotta go pick up my son from school so i'm not gonna be able to button up the rest of it but we'll come back 
and do that later. I am happy, it's just a little thing, that this is black versus being raw, because I did actually paint this one for all the good that that did with it being blown out. But anyway, let's, uh, let's put this in the truck, and then we will come back later and get everything buttoned up. Oh, and I did kind of fix that one side that was a little bit stiff. Just had to back off one of the ball joints a little bit, uh, lube it up a little bit, and then retorque it down. So anyway, let's get this back in the truck. All right, guys, it's another day. I do have the power steering box in the truck now, and today I am going to finish putting my front end back together uh, because I've got a really big angle kit on the truck right now. So you can see there is nothing holding this now. I had to take everything off to get... Uh, the box out so today we're just going to put this back together hopefully it goes back together smoothly and we don't have to worry about any issues i will put the camera somewhere reasonable for you to watch me work maybe this angle or so we'll bang everything back together and then uh, we'll move on to the next step All right, new day in the garage. Well, not really. I have done a couple of things off camera. I unfortunately had some SD card problems and lost a little bit of footage, but don't worry, it was just me crawling under the truck doing a bolt check, which sucked. But I've done a bolt check and everything under the truck is torqued now. So I know that when I do take it down the road, I don't have to worry about something being loose and causing me problems. Also, my last package from Rock Auto has arrived. So let's crack that open and see what we've got to do before we end up cranking up the truck and pulling it out for the end of this video. All right, so there's a couple of things in this Rock Auto box that we need immediately. Actually, really only one thing we need immediately, and then something we will need in the future after we do a bit of shakedown. And uh, I go for an actual, um, and I go for a tune on a dyno versus a remote tune, which is what I'm going to be doing. But we'll get to that uh, shortly. Let me just crack open this box here and show you what I needed. So. We have a bunch of spark plugs, which is perfect because uh, I think I got two sets of plugs in there, NGK V powers. Um, that's what was recommended to me. But the thing we need immediately is this genuine GM uh, map sensor. The sensor that is on the back of my intake right now is wrong. It's for a V6. I think it's for an Impala. I made a mistake and just guessed. This is the one that I need. So we're going to put this on. And the truck should run much better with this in place and it will make tuning possible. So I'm going to put the camera somewhere where you can watch me throw this on. It won't take too long. I'm going to put this on, change the oil, then this thing hits the ground again. And after that, we are ready for a tune minus my insurance and plates, which I am definitely working on right now. I was hoping to have that already. I'm definitely going to make a video on how to get that for a vehicle like this. In Ontario so watch out for that one but that's all we need to get this thing on the street and start shaking her down of course I also do need a tune but to do a remote tune that I'm doing I do need to be able to drive it so we can data log and I'm not gonna drive it on the street without insurance because with my luck something will happen and it'll ruin my life so let's put the camera somewhere where you can watch me put this sensor on and then we'll put it somewhere else you can watch me change the oil and then we'll come back tomorrow which is Monday which is my day off and we can roll this thing out and shoot an outro to this video and then hopefully get this thing actually on the road in the next video. I'm super excited for that. If I don't seem that way, it's because I'm a little bit tired. I've been thrashing tonight, but uh, let's keep the thrash going.
the new map sensor is in. The truck does start with it. Uh, it seems to stumble now when I give it gas with that sensor. So that's a bit of a thing. I might not actually be able to drive it right now. That is the correct sensor for the truck for later for tuning. So, you know, fingers crossed, uh, all that will sort itself out. Last thing we got to do, change the oil. So I'm sure you've all seen oil changes before, but whatever, I'm going to film when I do that. It shouldn't take me too long. And then we will be ready for a tune and moving on, which I'm super stoked for. So uh, let's just get after it. All right, we did it. Bit of a mad thrash, but you can see that the truck is behind me now. We made it outside again, and the guy just left to do my safety. So we're officially safety, which means we are one step closer to the road, and I could not be more thankful about that. It's been a thrash the last couple of days, but I'm really happy that it's finally done. And um, I'm going to, don't worry, I'm going to do a bit of a walk around of the truck outside one more time. I'll let you hear it running. There are no leaks anymore. We are good. So I just need to arrange a tune. But the next video, I'm going to explain exactly how I got this thing safety and insurance and what you need to go through in Ontario to get something like this on the road. So watch out for that. But until then, thank you for watching this video. I am super tired right now, but I got a couple more things to do. So I'm just going to get right back into it. Give me a like and a subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one.